That's one less way for them to get in. Follow me. I think we're about to get hit hard. Yeah, here they come. Um, grab all the ammo and stim packs you need. This is gonna be a rough one. If you have any mines, now's the time to use them. They could come in through any of the boarded up doors at any second. Second floor on the right. What the hell? Over there. Sleep. What do you have here? Impure. So, my hero, uh, think you came in and rescued me right in the nick of time? Not hardly. Had it all well in hand, and I didn't even need to use the failsafe. But that would have done a real number on some of the paintings, so just as well you were here. Anyway, name's Desmond. The type that kills everyone outside of my safe room and leaves a hell of a mess to clean up. Standard type. Not worth wasting on ignorant savages like them, honestly. Just as well you came along when you did. So, tell you what I'll do. I'll share a few tips for the next time you're making a dramatic final stand.
Not a fucking clue. It'd be easy to chalk it up to their crazy religion. But if I'm right, and I always am, there's something else going on. That's the third attack in a month, so somebody's got a grudge with me. Whether it's a man or a god, I intend to set them straight. Damned if I know, it was abandoned when I got here. There's plenty hidden away here. None of it would be useful to a bunch of crazed inbreds. I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I still had skin. There was some girl who came nosing around here a few weeks back, but she ran off before I could introduce myself. I'm here on my own business. You wouldn't understand it even if I tried to explain it to you. I don't know why anyone would bother with this shithole. It's filled with a bunch of disgusting inbreds and half-crazed loons. I'm gonna do what I came to do, and then get the fuck out of here. They're brainless morons who worship some crazy spirit. What's to know? Now hold on there. Not so fucking fast. You can be useful to me. I need someone willing to get their hands dirty. So here's the deal. I help you get in with those tribals, you help me get what I want, and I'll make you fucking rich. Just try not to sprain a lobe while you're thinking about it. My time is short. You need to learn to pay attention when I speak. Those mud lovers want me dead, and haven't extended the common fucking courtesy of telling me why. So, I need you to find a way into their commune, and figure out what's going through their addled little heads. Be a good pup, and old Desmond will give you a treat. And of course, who knows what riches they have for you to steal. Easy peasy. Right about now, they'll be wondering what happened to their hunting party. These are people who think cutting a hole in their skull can expand their mind. They're not exactly scholars over there. Just head up to the cathedral and ask real nice. When you're in, you'll find the bastard in charge and find out what they're up to. I just need information. No need for violence. Yet. They're brainless morons who worship some- I've been a- My story? Tell you what, kid. My story's a lot like a death claw's tongue. It's long, messy, and you don't want to get too personal with it. Understand? Suffice it to say, I have business in Point Lookout. If you help, you will be repaid for your efforts. That's all you want to fucking know. Back to business.
You made it past my traps? Uh, I mean, get out of here, lady. Aren't you afraid the ghost will get you? No, I mean it, lady. The ghost will melt your brain to mush. You need to get out of here, and fast. So what if it was? I bagged meaner than you, and I'll do it again. Well, all right, but any funny business and I'll pop you on. My name's Kenny, and I'm the boss of this mine. I bet you can't beat me in a race. You look real slow. I don't know. I ran away a long time ago. I live here all by myself. I wasn't born right. Mama hid me in the basement, and Pappy kind of just forgot about me. But I knew I had to go before I grew up. Look at me! I don't get the marks! I go around the wets and folk will shoot at me, thinking I was one of your type. I already told you I ran away. Shut up about it, all right? I got bored locked up in the basement all the time. So I started taking things apart and putting them back together again. Things aren't so strange when you can see all the stuff that makes them. You know, see something's insides? That's what the real thing is. I'm grown up enough already, and I'm the only thing I can be. Me. The grown-ups like my mom and pop just live in the wet. They're okay. They just don't trust outsiders like you. Most think I'm an outsider too, because I don't got the markings on me. I tend to stay away from the grown-ups. Except when they have a campfire. Some nights I hear them dancing. Then I sneak out to watch. Sure, I was getting tired of that anyway. Old Man Herzog's mine hole isn't much, but it's home. He was a mean old man. Owned this mine a million years ago. Made the miners work real hard and didn't give them any money or food for the kid. One day, a bunch of miners sat down and just stopped working. Old man Herzog, he didn't like that. Not a bit. So he blew them all up with a million, million tons of dynamite. No one wanted to work on the mine after that. Then old Herzog came down here and hung himself. They say his angry ghost still haunts the mine. That eh, doesn't scare me, though. Swamp folk know old Herzog's mine hole say it's haunted. So I knew most folk wouldn't want it this way, except outsiders like you. Doesn't usually take more than a clapper jaw and a leg to scare them off. I go out to play some days, and might bag me a shell man to eat. Most days, I just sit here with my stories and toys, though. Anybody ever say you talk too much? Hmm, I don't know, lady. You didn't try to kill me, and you seem pretty nice for a grown-up. But still, how do I know I can trust you? Nope. I'm doing just fine on my own. Gonna keep it that way. Find someplace else. I used to have Kenny Bear around, but he fell down the big shaft back there. It's too scary for me to go get him. Maybe you can, though. I don't go back there much. It's real dark, and there's lots of critters. You should be fine, though. Gee, thanks. I dropped him near the shaft, so he's probably at the bottom. Okay, lady.
Candy Bear! You're the greatest! So hey, you can use this place as your hideout if you want. Hide from the folk out there, stash your stuff, okay? You're welcome. So, uh, what do you want to do now? You want to play a game? Like hide and seek or tag or something? Fine, I didn't want to play with you anyway. Hi, what's up? Sure, see. 